Apple Knocker Radio. Okay, greetings friends. Today's topic of discussion is Sorcery, the Invocation of Strangeness by Thomas Sheridan. If you're not familiar with Thomas Sheridan, he's one of the great characters of YouTube. He's a uh, he's an Irishman who is a uh, I find him to be one of the most entertaining characters in the YouTube sphere. To call him controversial would be a euphemism. Um, he is he strikes strong reactions everywhere he goes. I definitely do not agree with everything that Sheridan says. As a matter of fact, I disagree with a great a deal of what he says, but. I always respect Thomas Sheridan's individuality and his willingness to throw himself out there and completely be himself. He cannot be categorized, and I respect that about him, even when I disagree with him. Now, all those things being said, Thomas Sheridan's um, personality, with all of its quirks, should never overshadow the fact that he has tremendous knowledge of various uh, spiritual traditions, um, archaeological traditions, uh, magic, occult, all of these things. He's a storehouse of knowledge, but perhaps the most Im- impressive thing about Sheridan, the thing that I respect the most or enjoy the most, is his completely unique insight. He has a way of tying together ideas in a way that I don't think anyone else can. In this book, Sorcery is a reflection of the man. It is not a grimoire by any uh, stretch of the imagination, nor is it wholly a book of theory. It's kind of like a, a combination of many things. It has some aspects in it that could be called, um, I wouldn't say spells, but uh, like practices, exercises, techniques for people to use. And it has explorations of theory about you know how reality works, how consciousness works, how magic works, obviously how sorcery works. But tied in with all of that are Thomas Sheridan's always fascinating personal stories and anecdotes. And yet another thing that I really admire about this book and about Sheridan in general is that he is completely shameless in his... He tells stories of the paranormal with no self-consciousness whatsoever. Um, One in particular that I really enjoyed that I marked here is the fetch and the doppelganger. Um, This is a story of Sheridan meeting a doppelganger. But what I love about it is that so many other people in this space, you know, in the space cadet seeker, esoteric explorer space, um, they will say that they believe in such things or that they are open to the possibility of such things. But you always, you can kind of feel like a little grin on their face as they're saying it. You don't really always know if they're totally invested in it or if they are invested in it. They're like a little embarrassed by it, right? Understandably, understandably. But not Sheridan. Again, Sheridan is a fearlessly... Thomas Sheridan is fearlessly Thomas Sheridan. And he openly says he had these encounters with things like doppelgangers and um, makes no apologies about it. He says he has these, he's had these experiences and he owns up to it completely. That's another fascinating thing about him as a man and this book in particular. Um, I enjoyed this book immensely. It's uh, to me it was a very very fun overview of a lot of different ideas. But when I say fun, don't take that to mean um, trivial or trite. Like I said, Sheridan has he's invested his whole life in these things. Thomas Sheridan he has a completely unique take on things. He has a storehouse of knowledge that um, few could compete with. So when I say that Sheridan is fun and he's funny, I don't want that to marginalize the the value of his insights. He definitely has some fascinating insights and ties together ideas in this world of consciousness and reality and uh, synchro mysticism and all of these things. Some of Sheridan's insights could come from nobody else. Um, Another interesting thing that I think a lot of people might like, it's included in this book, um, in piecemeal. It's not like a focus of his work, but it just comes out because he is an Irishman. He's he's seeped in Irish lore and Irish uh, knowledge and culture and their mystical tradition. 
And so for those of you out there who are uh, Americans or just from any country outside of Ireland, Sheridan can also provide really interesting details about the Celtic traditions, about Celtic ideas. Um, right now, it's not, I actually can't remember if it was in this book, but he's on his YouTube channel now. He's doing an exploration of megaliths that is very, very interesting. And so if you're not familiar with Sheridan, I definitely recommend checking out his channel, but I also definitely recommend reading this book. It's a very good book. I plan on reading it again soon. Um, there's not many books that I, I read more than once, and this is definitely one of them. Um, yeah, that's about it. I definitely recommend checking this book out. I enjoyed it immensely. It is uh, Sheridan never takes himself too seriously, and yet he provides some really fascinating and serious insights and knowledge. And uh, I just really appreciate the guy's approach more than anything else. And so I definitely recommend the book. I think it would appeal to people who spend a lot of time in these circles and people who are kind of milling around on the outside and kind of curious when I get their feet wet. Uh, I think it would appeal to both people. So yeah, that's about it. I would recommend checking it out.